And this is a wonderful demonstration of how to add more renewable energy to the grid without using farmland and really while reducing our reliance on fossil fuels here in California. We have seven lakes on the property, so we're using water for lots of different reasons. Uh, the thing that we find very interesting and very um, intriguing about this operation is how this will help clean our water, clean our lakes, and also provide energy for some of our systems. I see it as a huge potential uh, in, the, in California in particular. All the flat land is very expensive. There's a lot of irrigation ponds, there's a lot of reservoirs here in, in California that could be used for this particular purpose. Floating solar solves a number of issues, a number of problems with uh, PV plants. One is aesthetics. You don't have to, if you put them in the ponds, you don't have them in, in the view of most people, so they're not seen as an eyesore. I'll give you a couple more examples. One is uh, loss of evaporation rate, and also it, uh, putting the panels on the, the ponds also limits algae growth. What this really does is it allows us to get more energy out of a solar panel because it's cooler. Uh, that actually helps improve the performance. But it also really helps us add that middle of the day energy that we need. So Sonoma Clean Power aims to get 100% of our energy from renewables over time. Floating solar will help us get that 100% faster because it doesn't require us to use sensitive habitat, doesn't require us to use um, agricultural land, and that helps us achieve that goal sooner. We plan to build a significant amount of this in the county, and we're starting with about 12 and a half megawatts here, and we'd like to grow that over time. In the future, we have the potential with some of our reservoirs here to provide enough energy to um, use electricity for our entire operation, winery and vineyards. We think this is something that can work tremendous for the industry and tremendous for mankind coming down the road for renewable energy.